Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for August 20th through the 26th. This is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now typically my readings are love readings, so we'll just see whatever comes up. If this reading feels like it's for you, then it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Interesting. We're going to get one more. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And that means that your soulmate is not your usual type by the looks of things. They probably don't look like your usual type. Act like your usual type. The whole nine yards. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? That you have to make a decision. You have to clearly decide what you want. You know, you have to make a solid decision here. Magician reversed. You could be dealing with a trickster. Somebody that has some tricks up their sleeve. Um, this is deception, lies, manipulation. Page of Swords reversed. This is, there could be some anger, there could be some resentment, or you could be dealing with some gossip, perhaps. Somebody that is younger than you, or just somebody that is malicious could be causing some problems in your life. Hmm. Four of Swords reversed. It's like you've probably been involved in a situation that has been, caused a lot of emptiness, you know, a lot of um, negative thoughts. There's definitely some negative thoughts here, and I think that you may be trying to come out of that. I think that you're trying to. The World card reversed. Oh my gosh. So you guys are needing to. Complete a cycle in your life, complete a, a, a lesson, a life lesson, because the world is a lesson has been completed, but this is reversed. So it's like some lesson has not been learned yet, and it has to do with letting something die, letting something end. Okay, he's on a coffin. It's, it's, it, this is reversed. It's like letting something end that's only hurting you. You guys may be going through a period of taking a break. You know, you may be go maybe you've been taking a break for quite some time. Maybe it's time for you to stop taking a break and start this new phase, start this new cycle. Make that decision to, to start over, to start anew. Anyway, we're going to get these and then I'm going to focus this in. Of course, we have the Seven of Swords. There's some sort of, of shady behavior. Somebody is hiding. You know, somebody's hiding uh, perhaps from you. I mean, that does look like that. It looks like there's something going on behind the scenes where it's that somebody is not being completely upfront. That's all there is to it. Somebody is not being completely upfront. But let me get this zoomed in. I'm just going to let you look at those for a second while I uh, let my cat out. Move, Zoe. Move. Otherwise, he'll start howling. When he wants to go out, he wants to go out. So. Let's see. Yeah, things are very unbalanced this week. You know, they are with a temperance card. You may be temperamental. Okay, things, you know, you may be on the fence about something, on and off the fence, you know, going back and forth. There's there's, there's a lot of um, definitely going back and forth. It looks like you're teetering on a decision that you need to make. 
you definitely have to make a decision, but you're, you're really back and forth about it, about what is the best decision. Maybe, you know, you're really comfortable where you're at. You know, it's like, I, I'm not sure if I, if I dare, if I dare to make this change, whatever it is. So I feel as though right now, you may be deceiving yourself, okay, with the magician, the seven of swords, and the judgment card. It's like you're not making the right judgment call in some situation. You're not being aware. This is lack of awareness. It's like I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to. I don't want to see the truth. And so I think that, or, or somebody is actually really, really lying to you. Whether it's you refusing to see the truth or you're absolutely being lied to it could go both ways but there's a lie here whether you're lying to yourself or somebody's lying to you somebody is lying okay there is no doubt about it and i think that right now you're you're probably you know wondering if you should stay where you're at okay he's on he's on the tightrope do you stay where you're at do you turn around and go back or do you go forward? I mean, what? That's your decision, okay? You, you, you what are you gonna do? Right now, you're pretty comfortable where you're at. You are. I think you're pretty comfortable where you're at. But there's a lot of imbalance there, okay? There's a lot of uncomfortableness. It's like it's it's not peaceful. You're not feeling at peace with whatever this is, okay? You're not feeling like you know you could be comfortable here in this spot whatever it is wherever you're at forever it's like you're ready to to make it make a decision but you haven't made it yet okay because you have to you do have to make that decision either way the outcome is happiness so whatever decision you make is going to bring you happiness okay there's happiness there's bliss there's there's a lot of um healing that will happen at the end of all this okay it will happen there will be a rebirth a renewal all right, so we're going to get some clarifiers here. There is some sort of lack of, of wanting to know the truth or accepting the truth or awareness here with that judgment card next to the magician. There's, there's definitely some kind of deception. There is. There's no doubt about it. You could be dealing with a, a Gemini. I see Gemini, I see Libra or another Aquarius. I also see um, Sagittarius and Leo. So I'm. it could be any sign. We also have Scorpio. But I feel as though there is either way, there's a lack of, of peace, peace of mind. There's a lack of peace of mind because something isn't moving forward the way you'd like it to. There's a lack of forward movement. And, and this lack of mo forward movement comes from lack of discipline. Okay, you have to find the discipline. You have to have faith. This is lack of faith as well. This is also the sign of cancer. It's like nothing is happening at the speed that you would like it to. And, and it's because... I think it's because you're you're waiting for things to balance out and you have to put in effort. You have to make it you have to balance it out. You know what I mean? There's not equal give and take here. Somebody isn't putting in enough effort to balance cuz balance balance balance. Two of the balances are reversed and this is trying to keep things afloat. So, you know, you have to put in you have to maybe you have to put in a little bit more effort to to balance out your life. I feel like right now you may be involved in a one-sided situation or maybe you maybe this other person that you are waiting on or dealing with isn't putting in effort because I see that this is a one side. Now I've covered up one of the one of the horses. It's a one-sided situation. It's like there's not there's not equal give and take in this situation whatever it is and it's weighing on you. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's like do I want to keep doing this or not? This Ten of Cups reverse. You may be turning away from family or turning away from a relationship because there's too many arguments. There's too many, too much unhappiness. Yeah, and things have not been moving. They haven't. Things have been stalled. There's been a lack of communication. There's been no forward movement. And it's like the love is fading. Okay? It's like these are the rods of love. This is the Ten of Cups. They're both reversed. It's like... The, the love is, is dissolving, it's fading, it's not as happy as it used to be. And you know, 
maybe if you haven't taken a break, maybe it's time to take a break. Maybe it's time to take a rest and figure out what you want, what you're worth, where you're going. You know, become conscious. You become consciously aware. Okay, this is a it's it's a time to reflect. So take the time that you need to reflect on your future. Okay, I feel like you know if you take the time to reflect and move on because nines are assigned to move on. You have to take the time to reflect and move on from this spot that you're in. You will find abundance. You will find success and victory and stability and security. So I feel as though there is an opportunity for this at the end of the road. But right now, you have to turn away from something that is unhappy, okay? You do. Something that is like, there's no forward movement. And in order to turn away from whatever this is that's unhappy, you have to figure out a plan. You have to come up with a plan. You know, you have to become aware of where you're going, where you're coming from, <laughs> that two of pentacles down there. And you have to decide what you really want. That's why this card came up. Okay, so this is a week of contemplation with the Four of Swords and the Hermit card and these unbalanced and the decisions that need to be made. I think that you guys are, are heavy, heavily trying to figure out what your next step is going to be. You know, and I think that you have, have you, maybe you have been in denial. I don't know if it's you that's been in denial, but somebody has been lying, whether they, whether you've been lying to yourself, we all do it. So don't don't think it's just a trait of yours, okay? Every single person in the world does it. And and um or somebody has been lying to you because there's absolutely with the seven of swords and the magician card and the judgment card and that page of swords, you are dealing with somebody that is lying. And that's all there is to it. They are withholding the truth. And it's causing no victory and success. So in order to have victory and success, somebody has to make the decision as to what the next step is going to be to bring victory and success. Okay, But it feels as though right now there could be some resent, some bitterness. You may be closing yourself off. Here you are. Maybe right now you're feeling pretty lonely. You may be feeling bitter. You may be feeling like... unlovable and not wanting any love at this point or not wanting any relationship growth or maybe somebody is offering it to you maybe somebody came to sweep you off your feet or offered you love and they really had no follow through and that has made you bitter made you upset and therefore you may be closing yourself off emotionally you may be withdrawing yourself from a situation because there's no more love. And that's what this looks like to me. So I feel like this is a week of you guys needing to make a decision as to what you want your future to look like. Where you're going. You know, you need to be confident. You need to hold your head up. You need to get creative. You need to find your focus and your concentration. And maybe, you know, you decide to put yourself out there. Maybe you decide to get feisty. Or you decide to halt the whole process. Some of you are going to halt everything and just stop. It's just like completely going nowhere. I'm, I'm just going to stop moving right now. I'm just going to stand still. Okay, so you may be at a complete standstill. But you're being called to, to lighten up. Be playful. You 
Yeah, I feel like many of you are thinking about um, ending ending a partnership, okay? Once and for all, whether this is at work or this is in love, this is like the end of a partnership. It's like there's there's no love here, you know? So I feel like you guys are very indecisive about going back, staying where you're at, or moving forward. That's what this is a be, be, this week is about. It's about making a decision. It's not about finding new love. It's about making a decision. Am I ready? Am I ready? What do I want? That's what this week is about. It's about finding happiness. What is going to make me happy? That's what this week is about. So this is, this is a week of contemplation. That's all there is to it. Do I see new love coming in? No. No. Because I see that a lot of you are indecisive about where you're even at, period. So I feel like, you know, right now, you are being, around the corner, you are being urged to complete, make something, com complete a cycle, complete a phase. That has left you feeling very lost and empty inside. There's a fade. There's something in your life that has, that is making you feel empty and incomplete. And imbalanced. And temperamental. And you are being called to, to reflect on that and, and make a decision. There's one phase of your life that needs to be completed so that you can move on to the next. But you're hindering it. Due to indecision. There's a lot of indecision here. There is. So anyway, this is a week of making a decision. I can't change it. Very soon, clearly, clearly, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. <coughs> Sorry, I was trying to hold that. <clears throat> But I couldn't. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind because, you know, if you guys are with the wrong soulmate or you're with the wrong person or if you think you're going to be alone forever or whatever the case is, you may be looking for the wrong person. You may, you know, you need to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may not be who you think it is. So that's a message. If that's what, where you're stuck, keep in mind that you're, there's lack of awareness here. That your lack of awareness is just, it's almost like fear of the unknown. So anyway, I feel like you guys have an opportunity to move forward after you make a decision. But this is a week of actually contemplation. I mean, that's what this week is about. It's about contemplation. I'm not going to fill you up with some pipe dream that new love is coming in. That's, no. Talk to you later.